Hey everybody, Scott Sprinter here, DocSports.com with our update for Thursday, May 23rd, 2019. Free pick coming up in just a moment. First, a quick note, if you have yet to take a shot with our Major League Baseball, it's a great day to do it because you can receive 25% off a full week of Major League Baseball from any of the handicappers, including myself, over at DocSports.com. You can use it on multiple handicappers today only, Thursday, and it ends at 11 p.m. Eastern, 8 p.m. Pacific on Thursday night. Again, 20 25% off a full week of Major League Baseball at DocSports.com. And the code is MLB25. MLB25. 25% off a full week. Offer is only good on Thursday up until 11 p.m. Eastern Time. And then it goes right back to the normal price. And here's what you do. If you go to my page, for instance, over at DocSports.com, you click on a full week of baseball. A little box will pop up. It'll ask you to enter a code. You enter mlb 25, 25% off a full week of Major League Baseball is what you're going to get. And again, it's good only today, Thursday, May 23rd. So go grab it. I think you'll be glad that you did. And again, you could use it on any capper of your choice and as many cappers of your choice over at DocSports.com today on Thursday. All right, we'll get to our free pick in just a minute. Also, NFL thumbnail sketches return on this report. We'll get to that. First, a quick note. Here's what's going on for today. One baseball play on Thursday, one basketball play on Thursday. We're back in NBA action after having last night off 41 and 23 run up over $5,200 for $100 per unit betters and we've got tonight's matchup between the Raptors and the Bucks as the series goes back to Milwaukee right now as we speak Milwaukee six and a half to seven point favorite that total which was as high as 219 at one particular offshore now at 215 and a half at that same particular offshore a lot of 216s to 217s across the board as I uh, look at about 18 books on my computer screen and that's where it sits right now but again we'll be involved on Thursday that pick will be available Thursday morning DocSports.com and we currently again are on a 41 and 23 run in the NBA last couple of months over $5,200 for those wagering just $100 per unit don't miss out on game five on Thursday I've also got Major League Baseball on Thursday one play on Thursday afternoon it's available Thursday morning over at DocSports.com and again don't forget about the 25% off full week of baseball today Thursday, May 23rd only. Only good up until 11 p.m. Eastern, 8 p.m. Pacific on Thursday night. And again, that code MLB25. Going to get to my free pick in just a moment. Uh, we cashed last night with the free pick with the Marlins. Got another underdog for you today. But before we get to that, a quick note. Uh, looking at the Tennessee Titans now as we wrap up not just the AFC South, but the entire AFC. And then we'll jump into the NFC East with our next NFL thumbnail sketch. But today it is the Tennessee Titans. And they're over under wins total eight and a half. Seems like this team wins nine games each and every year. Listen, as far as the defense is concerned, I don't see it changing much. It's good. It's going to be able to stop the opposition, the opposing offenses, more often than not to hold those teams in check and give their offense a chance to do some work and to win some games. The one thing I wish they'd do a little bit better, Tennessee's defense, force more turnovers. That's the one spot where they can certainly uh, improve. And if they do, they're going to be a heck of a hard defense to, to, to muster a consistent offensive attack against because because they will be able to hold teams in check again this year. Just force a few more turnovers here and there. As far as the offense is concerned, well, Marcus Mariota, you know, he's struggled in his pro career with throwing to the right side, those out patterns outside the yard numbers. And if he can ever figure out how to do that a little bit more accurately, he's going to have a huge season and take it to that next level because he's a pretty accurate passer everywhere else on the field. Just has a problem with those out patterns to his right. Got a great receiving core to throw to, by the way, this year. And they went out and they got a nice uh, recruit in Brown. I think that was a great draft pick. In fact, I think overall, top to bottom, Tennessee, uh, I, I rated them as an A- minus as far as the Renfield draft was concerned. But when you look at who this team has, a wide receiver, I mean, you're talking about Humphreys, Corey Davis, Taylor, add Brown to the mix, the rookie. I think that this is a good shot for Marcus Mariota to have potentially one of his better seasons he's had in the NFL thus far. Having said that, the schedule is difficult, and it's not just the strength of opposition. It's the way the schedule plays out and sets up and who they're playing at certain times and certain weeks throughout the course of the season, you know, with non-divisional games falling in between important games against Houston and Indy and things of that nature. So when you look at that, it makes it a little bit tougher 
record for this team as far as their total number of wins are concerned. They open up with the Cleveland Browns on the road. Of course, there's all this love right now for the Cleveland Browns and the Vegas books, the offshore books, and Cleveland's a five and a half point home favorite over Tennessee. And that seems a little too steep for me right now for that week one regular season game. But overall, I think this team is right there about eight wins. You know, it's like I said, I mean, they win nine games after nine games after nine games. It seems like every single season, the total's eight and a half, but eight wins looks like about where Tennessee is going to land. Marcus Mariota could have a better year this year than he's had. And the defense is going to be good. If they could force more turnovers, even better. But I think the schedule is going to make it tough to win more than eight. They're right there. They're so close to being a team that's able to win 10 ball games. But uh, anyway, it's not enough of a separation from the eight and a half wins, uh, the total that's posted. So we're going to pass as far as making a bet or suggesting or recommending a play on the Tennessee Titans over under wins total. We do think they're an eight win team with a little good fortune, maybe nine wins. So recapping uh, the AFC South, we do have overplays on the Indianapolis Colts and on the Houston Texans. Those are the two teams we're looking to go over. Jacksonville and Tennessee, we think they're priced about right as far as they're over under wins total. So we're going to stay away from those team, two teams from now for now. If I do get involved with either Jacksonville or Tennessee or any other team that we've talked about thus far, I certainly will let you know that day on my, on my videos that I'm getting involved with my money on those particular teams. All right, so there you go. That's that's the AFC South and the entire AFC is now complete. Uh, our next video, our next thumbnail sketch will start off. We'll jump over to the NFC and start off in the East and we'll take a look at those Dallas Cowboys when we do that, probably in two days uh, from right now. All right, again, before I get to uh, the free pick for Thursday, uh, we do have that 25% uh, off a full week of baseball going on over at DocSports.com. Uh, Thursday only, up until 11 p.m. Eastern, 8 p.m. Pacific, 25% off a full week. And again, the code, is code, boy, if I could speak English, it would be nice, wouldn't it? The code is MLB25, good only on Thursday. I do have one baseball play for Thursday. It's an abbreviated schedule. And of course, I'm involved in the NBA as we look to take our run to 40 and 23 with our last 65. All right, free pick for Thursday. We're turning to another underdog just like last night. Tonight, we're going to back the White Sox to get yet another win over the Houston Astros. We like Giolito quite a bit. We like him in this game going up against Martin. We think that he'll be able uh, to pitch well enough and deep enough for the White Sox uh, to be able to make it another win over the Houston Astros. I don't know that they're going to score you know, a bunch of runs like they did last night where they scored nine in that victory, but I do look for the White Sox to be able to come away victors and at this price I think it's just priced a little bit too high my numbers say it's about 25 to 30 cents too high we'll take that value and back the White Sox with Giolito on Thursday's card all right that's going to do it for us for Thursday listen again we'll be right back here Friday no later than 5 a.m. Eastern 2 a.m. Pacific hope you're doing well in the PGA if you're watching this after it all tees off I'm Scott Spritzer DocSports.com if you like the videos click on that thumbs up button and be sure to subscribe we appreciate those who have done so thus far. Let's put Thursday in the win column right back here Friday morning.